I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Changed my state of mind. Ladies and gentlemen, love so hard to find. We got him. Your feelings changed like the weather. When it comes to the rain, I'll let it out of the But I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Changed my state of mind. The love so hard to find. This is my voice one day in Alabama. This is my voice 30 days in Alabama. One whole year in Alabama. Yeah, which one of y'all lactate and kraut sissies fuck my cousin? One, two, seven, three, I am pooping in the sea. I'll never reach a poet late again. One, two, seven, three, I may have dysentery. Oh no, I'm out of toilet paper. How many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimps are pretty rich. All right, quick little experiment for you guys. Take a bowl, fill that bitch up with water, take some pepper, put the pepper in the bowl of water, take some dish soap, put the dish soap on your finger, and then stick your finger in the bowl. It does that because you're gay. Hit or miss, I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. He gon' find another girl and he won't miss ya. He gon' scare then hit the dub like was Khalif. All the girls are on me. Damn, everybody pay attention. This right here is my soldier. <laughs> this girl had the audacity today to come up to me and say, Would you slap me for one million dollars? Baby girl, I'll slap you for two pennies. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, I'll slap you for free. Like, <laughs> you're not that special. <laughs> but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Changed my state of mind. But love so hard to find. Hey, let me hear that whole joke. Oh, 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 rank one. Hot job, hot job, hot job. Top tier. How many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimps are pretty rich. My name is Skylar. I rep the Bucks with Pride. I'm probably too cool for you, so friend request denied. Oh. I'm Kyler from Tyler. My real name is Inez, but Skylar said to change it, and I do what Skylar. Damn, everybody pay attention. This right here is my pretty boy swing. I guess they never miss. <laughs>
You got a boyfriend? I bet he doesn't kiss you. Mwah! He gonna find another girl, and he won't miss you. He gonna skirt and hit the dab like Wiz Khalifa. Thank you, class. <laughs> Hit or miss, depression is a bitch, huh? You got anxiety, I bet it doesn't leave ya. You gon' try to find a way to numb the pain ya. Do the peace sign when they ask if you're okay ya. So I just came across something very interesting. The word fridge has the letter D in it, even though the full term refrigerator does not. Now, why is that? Well, I think I figured that out. Cause see, if you put this into an equation, fridge equals refrigerator, all you have to do is just cross out the like terms, just like this, and then you're left with D, and D is equal to what is left over on this side, A-T-O. And then, and then if you switch the order around, because you can do that in math, it's T-A-O, tau, and tau is a letter in the Greek alphabet, which if uh, translated to English and in mathematical terms, means 2 times pi, and 2 times pi in numerical terms is 6.28, and that is an even number. Now, you may be asking, why am I pointing out that this is an even number? Well, let's just look back here. Fridge, it has six letters in it, and six is an even number, and refrigerator has 12 letters in it, and that is also an even number. Now, the thing about 12 is that it's also means dozen in English. I don't know why, but that's just what that is. So yeah. Now let's just go back to even really fast. One thing that you're probably going to notice is that there are two E's, which is an even amount of E's. Two, right? So let's so so now let's just take those two E's and think back to one of the most famous math equations ever by the one of the most famous scientists in the world, Einstein. E equals MC squared. So, because E is already in fridge and refrigerator, you know, we can cross that out. And plus it's there and there. But yeah, besides the point, now we're left over with, with E. Now, now we're left over with M times C squared. And when there are t when there's nothing on this side, then this whole thing just becomes a whole complicated mess. And so we don't like complicated which begins with C, so we can just cross that out. So now we're just left with M, which is matter. All right, so great. Now, how does this answer my question? Why is there D in fridge, even though there's nothing in refrigerator? Well, I'm here to tell you, it doesn't even matter, because the English language is stupid anyway. Say nigga now. Look, I just flipped the switch. Oh shit, I can say nigga now.